You still heard the words in your head, didn't you? <sighs> Guys, if I can be totally honest right now, I'm really flattered that you think I know what I'm doing. Because I don't. <laughs> yeah, even for a second. Oh, to be a round little bird and to say beep from time to time. The best times. There is no winner in D&D. &D. Oh, you are so wrong, it's laughable. The winner is whoever can make the DM create the most new rules. And I will always win. Does the science side of Tumblr actually exist? Science side of Tumblr, what do you think? Protons! I'm glad you're thinking positively. I do not care if I reblog something I've reblogged before. My memory is weaker than lead in a mechanical pencil. If you signed up for my show, you signed up for some reruns too. I can, I can even say that over my own channel. This is gonna sound stupid, but I'm amazed at baby capybars because they are truly are baby capybars. There's so many animals, you guys, so many, where the babies just look like tiny primordial creatures compared to the mature ones. But baby capybars are just little, little capybars. They just start out like that. Know what I mean? I do. Lowercase. Today I learned that wolf packs might exist because ravens eat so much of their meat. When one wolf kills a moose, 47% is lost to the birds, while a pack of six loses only 17%. The team witnessed a single wolf killing a moose 11 times, which weakened the notion that wolves hunt in packs because of difficulty. So wolves hunt in packs so they can plausibly tell carrion birds, I'm sorry, you can't sit with us, there's just, there's just no seat left. I'm sorry, but why did the wolf have to kill the moose 11 times? Won't it just stay dead? Have you heard of a zombie moose? No? Then thank your local wolves. Garlic Dead, why are you always so mean? Sorry, when I was younger, a Tumblr user pushed my mom off a cliff. Somewhere in the world right now, there is a cat making bread and purring. I need you to always remember that. Thank you, Gooey. Sometimes I think about how Token said golf exists in Middle Earth and then just never mentioned it again. Ever. Token, can we talk about it, please? The bar was so low it was practically a tripping hazard in hell. Yet here you are, limbo dancing with the devil. OP, this is such a raw line. What the fuck? Damn, boy, she thick! Thoughtful, honest, interesting, caring, and compassionate! Look at it! Beautiful. You ever think about the kind of guy who makes a cursed amulet like, whoever puts this on is gonna have a nasty surprise? <laughs> Get a real hobby. <laughs> Cranky because you're cursed, aren't you? I throw a pies at tall people asks, How tall are you? Aha! Nice try, pie thrower. Five foot eleven. Get out of my house! So this thing right here. This is pretty handy for monster and creature recordings because hands-free, you don't have to worry about knocking in anything. It really helps you get into character a lot more. Observe. Oh, this idea is ridiculous, but here we go. Remembering the time I ate an entire loaf of pumpkin bread and my mom got so enraged she called me a little loaf-eating freak. If your hands are cold, it's just your ghost boyfriend holding your hand. <laughs> my feet are cold. A professor asked if I prefer Miss or Mister because NB, and I accidentally said, Ya boy, without thinking, so now I have a professor that calls me Ya boy Rogers every time I see him. Uh, I'm not seeing the problem. I want to be a cat. Jobless, educationless, useless. There to be pretty and soft. Ah yes, the reign of terror, commonly known as White Boy Summer. 
You ever dip your entire Oreo in milk except for the part where you're holding it and feel like this is dipping newborn Achilles into the river Styx, leaving him invulnerable everywhere except for his heel? Yeah. Today, a student emailed over a draft of his essay of 1984, and it clearly used a thesaurus on every single word. And how I know this is because the party slogan, Big Brother is watching you, had become, Enormous sibling is viewing you. And I laughed so hard, I cried. <laughs> maid runs out of mana and just starts hitting shit with her staff. Hmm, good times. I finally fixed the problem. Restroom with urinal, restroom without urinal. Where is your guard now, Gender Rose? You used your Jones Fabrics gift card on snacks. The snacks in the front. That was for crafts. I gave it to you for crafts. Period. Apartment complex? I actually find it quite. Uh, no, no, well. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. I am caught setting the Disney headquarters on fire, but it's okay. Because I actually have this tragic backstory where all my dreams got chased off a cliff by capitalism when I was a kid. Why did I make that guy semi-Australian? Watch a typical day like... I wake up. I malfunction. I call it a day. Why are logos so boring and minimal now compared to 15 to 20 years ago? It's because we have phones now. That's literally it. They have to be visible at one quarter of an inch. There, I saved you like an entire year's worth of design school. It's a wild dream of mine that one day you will read one of my dumbass posts, but it'd make my day if you did. I'd really love all the awesome stuff you do, and I hope you have a lovely day slash night. Well, it's a weird dream to have. But maybe if I answer this ridiculously enough, someone may submit it to me to read. Hmm. Minty giraffes. I shall now return to attempt to monkey. Becomes feral instead. Fuck! So before we start, I wanted to greet... Our new editor, Andy, who has taken on the job as long as I don't do that British accent video again. We're cool, right, Andy? Right? You're not gonna do anything bad to me, right? I own you! Okay, fine, fine, I'm cool, I'm fine. Anyway, let's start the show. My four-year-old points to the label on my teabag and says, What does that say? Me. It says over 300 years of experience. It means the people at Twinnings have been making tea for 300 years. <gasps> they haven't even died? Tea vampires. I think you mean immortality. You may live forever, but there is a steep cost. Hey, listen. In English, any noun can become a verb if you don't care enough. This point is invalid unless you use an example in your sentence. I... I can sentence how I want, thank. Beautiful. You see, that's why I love English. I like to velociraptor around my house at two in the morning. Good. My headache makes me want to close on into a wall. Why do these make some semblance of sense? Because brains don't brain logically. Brains do brain logically. But when English doesn't logic Englishly, brain brains by itself to logic that English. I... Hate that this makes sense. Ugh, get off your high horse. The high horse. <laughs> you know, Amero can, but Amero shouldn't. Can this be our foreign policy from now on? Please? 2018 is the year we stop using kinks people don't want to see as punchlines and focus on what's actually funny. We'll start with the crab jungle. Ah, good old Krungle. Jesus, this post is old. Are you available? No, sold out. Discontinued. Limited edition. Region locked. Like Mother 3. <laughs> How dare you! I am a big fan of the way moles sit in dirt with their arms out like they're in a hot tub. Ah, <sighs> decadence. Oh, to be a mole in a dirt hot tub. Good morning! Just woke up from a lovely dream where Julius Caesar turned into a cat boy in a maid dress in order to avoid being stabbed. Keep going, LP. Why did... Why does this sound like something Fates would do? Does Fates have this character? Andy, does Fates have this character? Please look it up for me. No offense to gamers, but fuck Mario. He's not even a real plumber. <gasps> too, too, too far. 
He's a mass murderer, killing thousands of innocent Goombas and Koopas, and not to mention the millions of toads he slaughters. Y'all are forgetting his truest crime. Andy, put up the evidence of him killing Yoshi. You know, people say, you're autistic? Does that mean you take everything literally? And I'm like, nah. That's kleptomaniacs. Congratulations to Definitely Craig on being the funniest person alive! My school's rival school is on lockdown right now because someone put weed in the vents. So everyone's slowly getting high. Oh my god. I guess now you can call it a high school, man. <laughs> yeah. Clicking submit on my papers not because they're done, but because I'm done with them. Yeah, men kiss each other. I saw it in Google Images. I thought this was a command. <gasps> Men kiss each other. Let me be perfectly clear. Uh, oh, I, I see. Wait, wait, where's the rest of the fish? You ever notice how John Mulaney and Kronk have the same voice, but on different pitches? Try it, I dare you. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, the poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specifically to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Oh my god, wait, wait. How did you- Allow me to tell you a tale of a dragon who detached himself from the planet he once was. Many eons ago, there was a dragon and the planet he protected. They were one and the same. The life that sustained itself on that planet took everything for granted. They waged war on their resources. They tarnished the very forces they needed to survive. Their souls became tainted and twisted with hatred. The dragon was afraid that this was all his doing by providing the very things they fought so viciously for. As time wore on, so did the last breaths of that planet. The dragon, in a cowardice state, tried to free himself from the very thing he was. Before that planet disintegrated, he was able to set himself free, looking on in remorse, wondering if he was perhaps at fault. But that planet finally vanished. For many eons, that dragon soared across the universe, with no home, no protection, only themselves. To this day, they wonder if they regret their decision. And I tell you this tale now, little one, because I feel that the planet Earth itself has done a similar act upon itself. A very spirit who has detach themselves from the earth, whether to protect themselves from what the earth has done, or to run away from their mistakes. Only time will tell.